Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be part three in our intro to Kivi series. Kivi is uh, kind of a universal app building software uh, module within Python. And uh, if you missed the first two episodes, I recommend you go out um, and check those out first because that's what we'll be starting with. But if you uh, just want to join in here, basically what we've done is we've created this like partial login screen um, where you enter username and password and the password is, is hidden in secret text. One of the nice features about Kivi is it's uh, quickly resizable. That's how it works on so many platforms so rapidly. But uh, that's what we'll be starting with today. And today's video in particular, we're going to be taking a look at adding a button as well as displaying some feedback on what's been entered. So taking user inputs and processing them and uh, forming an output. So that's the basis of code. Let's get right into it. Uh, so the next thing we're going to import, just like before when we got our text input and our layouts, um, is we are going to import the button. So should be no surprise. It's all lowercase for the uh, from Kivi UIX dot button and then import uh, button first letter capitalized. That's the Kivi standard. And then we will come down into where we were building our grid and we are going to go ahead and create a button. So we'll say self dot and we'll say this is the confirm button. So someone's going to press this after they've um, after they've entered data and they're good with it and they want to submit it. So we will say self dot confirm button equals button and is fairly similar in uh, format to the text inputs right and the labels. Um, so it's going to be a button and we'll want the text to say confirm entry okay and let's make the font size a little bit bigger so it's easier to read okay and this is uh, this is just if you're gonna write it all in Python this is how you do it we'll do a video later on the actual KV design language um, it's pretty you'll still need to know text and font size but the language format is slightly different so we'll get into that in the future this is how you do it if you want it all within Python and then just like before we'll do self dot confirm button actually before we add the widget um, we are going to uh, do something uh, for buttons which is binding it so when you press it we're actually giving it and telling it what action to do and we will say on press so you could do on press or on release depending on when you want the action to take place we'll say on press and then we will say we just want the action to be self dot confirm and we'll define the function confirm below here um, but the last thing you do when you create a new widget is you put it on the screen so that's the self dot add widget that we covered previously and we'll say we're adding self dot confirm button very cool so now it should be on the screen but uh, we need to come down outside of our init function and actually define um, the uh, confirm that we that we made so uh, for confirm since it's within this uh, class we want to pass in self and then we will pass in instance um, this is just saying uh, basically run it once if you've seen um, tutorials on Kinter or anything you know when you call a button you also just want to call instance um, so for this one we'll go ahead and just say uh, name equals self dot username dot text and then we'll actually say password equals self dot password dot text and the reason I'm putting those in variables here is I want when you hit the confirm button we're gonna display some text on there that says hello plus your username your password is now and display the password um, just to kind of show how, how you would use a button and interact with some output data so let's go ahead and say self dot add widget and we will make it a label and we'll have the text say and a little bit of this is just knowing um, your Python and your object oriented programming. It's not all Kivi specific. So if you want to dive right in and try to learn Kivi and Python at the same time, you can. But there's a little bit of things like concatenating strings here 
um, that I'm going to do that just require a basic understanding of strings within Python. So you can check out some of the other tutorials on this channel if you want. Um, that information's out there. But if you have any questions on what you're seeing, feel free to let me know about it in the comments. Um, but so we'll say hello plus name, and then we will say your your password is now and then we will say plus password so hopefully after you've filled in username and uh, password in the two text entries we'll hit the confirm button and then it'll display that on the screen um, so let's go ahead and check that out let's just run it here okay so we see we've got this kind of larger text confirm entry box that's pretty cool and uh, we have spots to add, enter the username and password. So I'll say username uh, Iron Man. That's cool. And then for password, I will say Tony Stark. And remember, we made this a, a password uh, secret um, box, which just enters the characters in asterisks. But what you'll see is, um, hello, Iron Man. Your password is now Tony Stark. That's pretty cool. Um, you'll see that the, the text is actually stored in your program. It's just hidden visually so that uh, you can kind of enter it with some secrecy. So obviously displaying it on the screen kind of defeats that purpose, but we're covering a lot of concepts in a little bit of time here. Um, one thing we'll work on in future videos for now, if you hit this button over and over again, it's continually adding the widget to the next available spot. Um, so eventually what you'd want this to do is you'd want this to overwrite the previously existing one. We'll cover that in a future video, but for now that's the basics of adding buttons and uh, displaying outputs on Kivi. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, I really appreciate a uh, like and a subscribe. And uh, feel free to check out the other channels on this, or the other uh, videos on this channel. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.